Hello everyone, uh, my name is Deep Ranjan and a very good morning to all of you. So today I'm going to explain you a very important topic that is LSTM, Long Flat Term Memory. So first of all, we'll try to understand why do we need a LSTM. Okay. So before LSTM, uh, we were using RNN, Recurrent Neural Network, and it has some uh, disadvantages, some limitations. Like first limitation it has that it has very uh, short short memory short in memory and it also suffers from vanishing and the exploding radiant problem so in this video I'm not going to explain you about the vanishing and the exploding radiant problem uh, my main agenda is to uh, create this video for LSTM architecture only okay to explain you the arch uh, complete architecture of LSTM as LSTM cell what are internal functionalities is going on in a single cell of LSTM so if you can see uh, in this diagram okay uh, this is the architecture of a single cell LSTM so here are few new terms that is CD and uh, ST you already aware of that is the output 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 or you can say the out and ST minus one is the output of the previous timestamp okay and here CT is the cell state you can uh, call it also like a memory memory cell okay this complete ct minus 1 to ct this complete line is also called as memory cell okay uh, this is new in the lstm that is introduced in lstm only okay so let's understand let's understand what is lstm so uh, here xt and ht minus 1 so whatever value will be passed through xt and xt minus 1 will pass through one activation function that is sigmoid and sigmoid uh, ranges between 0 and 1 if you can see here uh, here it is mentioned wf f simply means here it's a forget gate actually it is a forget gate okay so you, uh, because we know that sigmoid values always lies in between 0 and 1 okay so if uh, <coughs> The, if the output of the sigmoid is zero, then it it, sim it simply means the whatever information coming from the previous timestamp, previous uh, cell, previous cell state, will uh, completely discarded. Okay, so you we can say that uh, this forget gate uh, is used to uh, understand what do uh, what we want to keep what information we want to keep and what information we want to discard okay so that completely depends upon this forward gate okay and next one this one wc wc is the candidate generation gate okay so whatever value in the xt will pass that will be passed through this candidate generation gate and candidate generation gate having the activation function that is 10h and 10h activation functions lies in between minus 1 and 1 okay so whatever value will be passed through this activation function there will be a matrix multiplication uh, element wise multiplication will be there with wi whatever value will be passed through this activation function this sigmoid activation function so what sigmoid uh, what this sigmoid activation function have uh, what uh, input this sigmoid activation function have uh, it is having the input xt only okay and that will pass to sigmoid and it will pass just a 0 and 1 okay and that will be there will be an element wise multiplication and it will pass to this uh, addition layer I will explain you this one okay uh, later let me first uh, finish this uh, these things okay then we'll, we'll go for this upper part okay and another uh, this sigmoid function and this wo simply means represent this is the output gate okay so whatever value passed through this output gate and uh, there is one uh, more activation function that is sigmoid and that sigmoid activation function will return 0 and 1 and that will there will be one once again uh, element wise multiplication and that two with this ct minus one okay that i'll explain you just to give me a second first okay so 
you can uh, if you understand these are uh, these three are gate uh, these are forget gate this is input gate this is an output gate and this is the candidate generation gate okay so whatever information coming from ct minus 1 from our previous timestamp and this forget gate whatever value will be passed through this forget gate like 0 1 0 0.5 because we know that the sigmoid values rise between 0 and one only okay so if you go if you got the value from this sigmoid activation like from this forget gate 0 0.5 that means uh, we want to keep only 50 percent of the uh, information from the previous timestamp and then it will pass right only 50 per percent of the information will be passed through uh, after this uh, element multiplication and there will be an addition and that addition with the output of this uh, 10h and the sigmoid activation function like can uh, the candidate generation gate and the input gate okay so there will be an addition and it after getting addition it will pass and that will be ct okay so here we can see here uh, one 10h activation function is mentioned here so a copy of ct a copy of ct will be passed through this 10h activation function and whatever output it will be uh, it will give that there will be a matrix multiplication with the output of the output gate and then it will be passed to output then it will give the output and this ht minus 1 is the feedback layer okay that that will be uh, if we uh, use the another cell state like uh, for t, uh, cell state t like uh, for input uh, x t plus 1 so this will be the previous timestamp for our next uh, next lstm cell so this is the uh, functionality uh, internal functionality of uh, lstm architecture so i'll just uh, give you one more time a brief a brief about this lstm architecture so uh, it's very simple uh, nothing much okay difficult so uh, whatever input coming from the previous timestamp that will be passed through a forget layer and uh, if the forget layer having a value zero that means it will simply discard the value dis discard the information from the previous timestamp it simply means that what information we want to keep and what information we want to discard okay and then it will pass through the uh, then those information will pass and there will be addition with there will be addition and that addition will happen uh, with the output of candidate generation gate and the input gate and that will be uh, passed and that will be our CT the cell state that the complete memory memory cell okay and this cell state will a copy of cell state will take will be taken okay and that will be passed to a tenet activation function and that tenet activation functions output got uh, matrix multiplication element wise multiplication with the output gate and that output will be the final output of that single cell and there will there will be an uh, feedback feed forward network also that is xt okay. so that's it for this uh, video uh, i think uh, you understand it better i can understand it if not okay thank you fine